Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson number 5. Tonight we are connecting visual models and the distributive property to partial products of the standard algorithm without renaming. Um, the last part is something that will get more complicated later on in subsequent lessons. But for, night, for tonight, uh, we've just got a couple of problems that will demonstrate how we're working on our math tonight. They're going to make a connection between a visual model, the area model in particular, with the standard algorithm. You'll see what I mean here in, on the first problem. Our first problem says, let's see, we're supposed to draw an area model and then solve using the standard algorithm. Use arrows to match the partial products from the area model to the partial products in the algorithm. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. We've got our problem, which is 24 times 21. And we're gonna, we've got that set up in the standard algorithm way over here, 24 times 21. And so the first thing we need to do, it says to draw an area model. So let's say we were, draw, we were multiplying 24 times 21, and we decided to split up the 21 in a couple of different ways, right? We split it up into the 1 and the 20. So we've split up, we split up basically the 21 into unit form into two tens and one one. And we're going to multiply each of those times 24. This is our classic area model. This side is 21, this side is 24, but we're going to split up the 21 into two parts, multiply to find those areas, and then add up our partial products. So let's see. One times 24, that is a fairly easy problem to do. It's among our easier math problems. That's simply just 24, right? And then our other problem we have to do is 20 times 24. Now we could do that in our head, we could think about it in unit form. 2 tens times 24 would mean that we'd multiply 2 times 24. Let's see, that'd be 48, but it's 48 tens, so that would be 480. Okay, so there's our two partial products. Let's see how that translates when we go over and we do the standard algorithm here on the side. Now in a very similar way, we're going to multiply 1 times the 24, and that's really simple, that's 24. And I'm noticing something right away, which is there. there's our first partial product, right? One, our 24, 1 times 24 is 24, and we get it on both sides. And the second thing I need to do is I need to multiply 2 tens times 24. 2 tens times 24 is 48 tens, so again we have 480, 48, which is the same as 48 tens. And again, I'm noticing that our partial product from our area model is the exact same thing here. So let's go ahead and add up our partial products. Sorry, my plus sign got a little lost there. Let's see, we add up all of our ones. Let's see, that's four ones plus zero ones. Looks like that's four ones. And our next uh, place value, we add up our tens. Two tens plus eight tens is ten tens. Let's see, so ten tens we would record with a zero in the tens and a one under here in the hundreds. And in the hundreds, now we have four plus one or five. So now we've solved 24 plus 21, that is 504, and we can do that through either the area model or through our standard algorithm. Excellent. Let's take a look at one other problem from tonight's homework. There are three problems in number two about solving using the standard algorithm. I'm going to do um, B, 2B, which is 413 times 22. So I'm going to go ahead and set that up, so that's 413 times 22, and I'm going to do the standard algorithm way of doing this. So let's see, the first thing I need to do is I need to multiply 2 times this number. Let's see, 2 times 3 ones would be 6 ones, 2 times 1 ten would be 2 tens, and finally 2 times 800, I'm sorry, 2 times 4 hundreds would be 8 hundreds. Awesome. Now we're going to do the very same thing here, but this time we're going to be multiplying by two tens instead of two ones. So two tens times three would be, let's see, that would be 60 or six tens, right? And let's see, if we had two tens times one ten, that would be two hundreds. So we put that here, right? That's two hundred. And then finally we have two tens times four hundreds. That would be, let's see, eight and then thousands, right? Eight thousands like that. And we need to add up our partial products. Let's go ahead and add those up. We add up our 6 and our 0 in our 1's column, and we get 6. We add up our 10's column. That's 2 plus 6 is 8. We add up our 100's column. That's 8 plus 2 is 10 hundreds. So 10 hundreds we would record like that. And then the 1 in the 1,000's, right? We'd bundle those 10 hundreds together to make a 1,000. 
And now we have thousands, 4 plus 1, or 9. And so we've got our answer, which is 9,086. Awesome. So that's doing it the standard algorithm way. We take each half of our two-digit number here, and we multiply it out, and then we add up our partial products, right? So we get 826 plus 8,260, add those together and get our answer. That's doing it the standard algorithm way. You could, of course, break this down uh, with our partial products using our area model as well, and you should see the very same numbers appearing if we multiplied uh, 413 times 2 and then 413 times 20. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. Feel free to rewatch if you're confused about standard algorithm for multiplication. And we'll get to more difficult problems next time around. But for tonight, I hope this does you well on your homework. Take care. Bye-bye.